I'm going to say it, get off my chest, because the next 30 days, I'm going to be the best Catholic woman ever. If Obama loses, there's a possibility, as Joe said, that he will lose, he might lose. I would hope that people voted against him because they didn't like his energy plan, they didn't like his economic vision, they didn't like the fact that he came out against the war so early when everybody else was being culpable and going with the status quo. I would hope that people decided that perhaps during the debates he didn't do as well as he possibly could, and maybe Ed's right. We're at a time of trouble, and you want somebody who's been on the planet much longer. A lot longer. A hell of a lot longer, and God bless him. I, I mean, I know his mother, so hey, if somebody keep me around in 94, God bless me too. But my friends, I have to tell you, as a child who grew up in the segregated deep south, de facto and de jure, we have come so far in this country. Uh, this country, and you have to have lived as long as I've lived and as long as many of you in this room, to have seen so much progress. I remember when I would get on a bus. This is after segregation was so-called over with. And my mother would tell me, because I would take my young brothers downtown, and she'd say, Donna, now you get on the bus. And you and your brothers, y'all go all the way to the back. And don't look at anybody. And of course, <laughs> I would get on that bus all right, tell my brothers go straight to the back, don't look at anybody, because I didn't want them to get in trouble. I sat right there and said, now let me see if this everything's OK. <laughs> is it really changed? My, we have changed. This is a more tolerant, a more open, a more progressive society. And yet we're having this conversation because he's biracial. He spent nine months in the womb of a white woman. He was raised for the first 18 to 21 years by his white grandparents. He didn't spend no time in living rooms like I spent my childhood. And yet he got out of school, went to Harvard, and all of a sudden he's uppity and something is wrong with him. What is wrong with us to suggest that some kid can go to Harvard if he's earned the grade to go there. I tell my friends, you may vote against him, but don't ever put me back at, in the back of the bus. I'm not going to the back of the bus. I'm not going to be afraid anymore. My black skin does not make me inferior. <laughs> and might I add, being a female does not make me dumb. Well, now, we can relitigate all these fights on race and gender and sexual orientation till the cows come home. But at a time when we're in crisis, I want the best. I want the brightest. I want somebody to take me where we've never been as a country. Perhaps we've been too stuck in the past. That's why we can't go forward. So let the next 31 days be about ideas, about inspiration, and about strength of character. Let it be about something that brings us together, not tear us apart. I can sit on the stage with these men, and if I had time this afternoon, I'd go home and I'd cook for them. <laughs> and we will all sit and drink some. <laughs> but this is where we are as a country. We are comfortable with each other. Let's not play these games. Don't let people trick you. Don't let people divide you or distract you. My mother is not here. Her mother is not here. My grandfathers, everybody in my family, my, the men have served this country. Don't let no one take us back because many of us are not going back. We're going forward and come with us.